This video will focus on the license needed to run Vertex BD. It will also look at the Vertex Viewer and how to reactivate a license should the viewer be activated. An activation code will have been supplied with the trial or full version of the software. This will be a unique code and is linked to your license, within which it will control the options and links that are available within the software. This activation code is required to make the software run and will generally be a single seat only. This means it can only be run on one PC at once. It can however be transferred from PC to PC. However, it will need to be deactivated on the current PC that is active on first. To do this, go to File, This Software Version. This will open the About screen, with some information about the license, including options in the top half of the screen, and the Transfer License option below. Clicking Deactivate License will populate the activation code box, which you can then copy and paste to a text document for use on the other PC. At this point, Vertex will likely close. When Vertex is opened, the licensing screen will appear and request an activation code. This can be entered, or alternatively, a free Vertex Viewer license can be activated instead with this checkbox. The Viewer is free software that will allow you to open projects and their documents, but not actively work on them. The viewer has the same look and feel as BD, however, most commands are greyed out and unavailable for use. To switch back to BD, you will manually need to remove the license.txt file from the user folder of your Vertex installation. Upon rebooting Vertex, you will be prompted for your activation code. Putting in your code will then check with the license service and activate on your system. This concludes our video on the license features of Vertex BD. Thank you for watching.